Hello everybody, Peter of England bringing you another video in the series that uh, revolves around the anagram centers. Uh, when I made my first video uh, fairly recently, I basically did the first one on what was called constitutional uh, conundrum or constitutional uh, conspiracy. Uh, the next one was on economics. This third one now is going to be on N, the nuclear. Uh, the next one after that will be on uh, either the trans agenda or talking heads. After that, um, uh, restitution. Um, and then after that, extraterrestrial. And then finally, solution. So today, before we go ahead, I'd just like to read a small quote from uh, one of the books that I've based some of this work on. It's a based, uh, based by, um, sorry, it's an author called uh, Zachariah Sitchin. Many of you will be aware there are seven books in the Earth Chronicles series. This one is uh, appropriately entitled The End of Days. And so from the uh, back inside uh, cover, uh, I'll read this. The Cosmic Code, the sixth book, explains how the secrets of humankind's celestial teachers were encoded in the Bible and other sacred and hidden books. The End of Days, the seventh and concluding book of the series, presents compelling new evidence that the past is the future, that mankind and its planet Earth are subject to a predetermined cyclical celestial time. Um, and so I would actually agree with that. Um, we're going to refer to various dates, and this is going to be necessarily a little bit technical today, um, and I'll try and keep it as short as possible, but this is really for the purists out there that I'm trying to get some information across uh, on the subject of processional cycles, um, time cycles generally, and why we're in a nuclear age now. And the question to you is, why is all the hype taking place at the moment concerning, concerning a possible nuclear agenda, either on behalf of the neocons or um, from Zelensky in Ukraine, perpetrated supposedly by um, Vladimir Putin in Russia? Why, after all this time, have we got so much talk and hype across all media, and nobody's coming along really and saying we need to avert this nuclear uh, war. Uh, they're all seemingly stating that they really need uh, it to happen. Um, why this is so, we'll try and go into that now. Now, one of the things we are, we're in the, 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 the zodiacal um, house now of Aries. Um, way back, obviously, we've transitioned through the other zodiacal houses. Uh, we've gone from um, Taurus, the bull, through to, um, through to Aries, and then we've gone through Gemini, and we're in Aquarius. So this is the 11th house, a house and under uh, numerological and geometrical um, considerations, these numbers are very important for the elites when they set agendas. So we're coming up to 2024, and why is that significant? We're in obviously now uh, 2022, 2023 is coming, obviously, and then four. So if we look back and see that why, why are we in such a precarious situation at the moment, um, I want to refer you to the fact that 1945, on the 6th of August, and then the 9th of August, 1945, when the two atomic bombs were let off in uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, these weren't the first occasions when nuclear devices had been detonated on the planet. So, many people will be surprised to hear that, but what I'm going to do is refer you back, uh, for those who are, can take the time or the effort, to have a look at the, the biblical um, story of what's called Sodom and Gomorrah, and where Lot was turned supposedly into a pillar of salt, uh, but in fact, the mistranslation of that, possibly deliberately, that it wasn't, tran uh, it wasn't turned into a pillar of salt, it was turned into vapor. Um, so we have to ask, if anything, the, the stories within the Bible are true, what could have happened at that time to, to, um, to create this situation? And one of the things I'd like to refer you to is Zechariah Sitchin's work, which basically shows that in 2024 BC, that was the first time that nuclear weapons were, um, were detonated uh, by the Anunnaki in an internecine or interbrotherly inter uh, conflict uh, by two perpetrators, Nergal and Ninurta, 
who were in effect trying to bring um, some type of retribution to the, the house of, of Enki. So the Anunnaki agenda is one that is still on the planet, is still unfolding, and still is a major feature in your daily life, even though you might not recognize that at the moment. Now, one of the main key pointers to this is that if we're looking at 2024 as the first nuclear episode, we move over then to the, the second or the most obvious, which was in 1945, um, that was a period of around 3,969 years. If we then look to the next period, um, which was in 2001, um, for obvious reasons, uh, you might know that Ground Zero in New York was a place where they refer to the possibility or the, 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 the vernacular of uh, Ground Zero, and that's usually designated as somewhere where a nuclear explosion has taken place. So that would be the third event, and there's possibly now a fourth event coming up. And so what I'd like to do is refer you to some numerology here and some cyclical cycles of time. For example, the precessional cycle, the precession of the equinoxes is 26,556 years. A time continuum or parcels within the, the precessional cycle, and they run at 4,426. OK, so 4,426 is into 26,556 give you the portions of the the um, the celestial times that, that run and have cyclical uh, relationships with both the phi ratio and pi. So if we now look at who who basically um, we would say the Niburians or the Hebrew. The, which are commonly referred to these days as people of the Hebrew um, persuasion. If we look at, say, the Hebrew calendar at the moment, or the calendar of the, those of the Jewish faith, we'll, show that it, uh, we'll see that it shows 5,783 years on that calendar. If we take 2022 from that, we end up with 3761. So according to the, the five books of the, the Pentateuch, um, what we have within the Hebrew faith and the faith of the Jews, uh, particularly Orthodox, is the fact that the world began at 3761 BC. Now, something very interesting on that number is that if you take 3761 and make it in a harmonic, 3.761, and then if you subtract pi, from it, pi being 3.14869 uh, or roundabout, what you will end up with is the reciprocal of phi, the golden mean or the phi ratio. So there could well be some truth in the fact that now as we're coming up to 5783, 5784, that there is a cyclical period here where maybe something should or could happen. Um, and lots of the, um, whether you're a Christian, whether you're a Jew, whether you're a Jain uh, or a, a Mohammedan, then obviously a lot of the, the faith, in the, 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 not only in the Torah, but in the, the, the Christian Bible and in, in uh, uh, the Book of Islam, the Koran, refers to biblical events. So I would suggest to you that many of them have been embellished, but mainly they are true. So time is the thing we're looking at here, and time is moving energy in space. So we've got the history, we've got the past, and we've got now the future, which is rolling through on a, a seemingly nuclear agenda. So the other thing I'd like to, to briefly touch on here is we've covered the fact that we have this 3761 aspect, uh, but what we've also got is this period from 2024 BC when these nuclear weapons by Nergal and um, Ninurta were detonated on the Sinai Peninsula. And if you go and look at the Sinai Peninsula geographically on Google Earth, you will see that there is a great deal of, um, uh, of uh, there's an atomic background there 
um, that an isotope background which is far um, inconsistent with the rest of the surrounding areas and that the, the Sinai Peninsula is, is charred and blackened and virtually nothing really living on it still. But more importantly, if we look at the periodicity, so if we take 2024, double it, we have 4048. So 4,000, four, sorry, 4,048 years in the BC and AD period. Now, we need to drop off a zero on that because if we're crossing the BC AD barrier, we have no year. So we, we need to shave a year off, and that brings us to 4047. So if we take 4047 years, if we multiply that by the mean solar tropical year, which is uh, 365.242412. Five, four days, then multiply that by hours, times it by two, because that then takes in care of the particle antiparticle precession. Pre, um, and then what we would have then is we've got the square root of pi. That's 1.7737. That's a harmonic, by the way. So what you'll do is when you finish the run through on the calculation there, you'll just divide it by one or 10,000 or 100,000 and it'll bring you to 1.7737. So there's obviously something going on with this period. 4047 years in the BC AD cycle then resolves into a, a, a number that is very, um, very consistent with both the golden mean and, and pi. So ideally I would love and I will try in the future to get a, a whiteboard behind me so a lot of this work can be, can be seen because I understand it's very, very difficult. But I thought it was more, uh, more interesting to get this information out because this could give people out there some idea as to the significance of the days of creation. For example, the Mayans believe that the, the uh, Great Flood took place in 3114 BC. Um, you have the Hebrew um, calendar at 3783, uh, and so, and then, th sorry, and then three set, sorry, 3761 for the, be the beginning of creation. And so these, these cycles are all coming together now. And this could well be why the end of days, when we see society breaking down, where criminality and the financial system is becoming so overwhelmingly in, unbalanced that we cannot really see things continuing much into the future. Whether that happens or not, I'm not sure. Um, so we've looked at the, the key dates, we've looked at the cycles, and... Um, I would just like to conclude, I think, by just reminding you that there is a lot of, uh, as we're in this 11th, 11th house um, of Aquarius, there's a lot of numerological significance with the number 11, um, 56 years from, let me see, from 1945 um, in August through to 2001 when we had the 9-11 uh, episode. That's a 56 year period. And then if we go from 2001 to 2023, that is a 22 year period. Five and six is 11. Two, 22 years is obviously a, a, a double of 11. Um, and so a good bet could well be that if we look from 11th of September 2001, which was the 9 11, to 9-11 in 2023, that would be exactly 22 years and would tie in with the 22 letters of the, the Hebrew uh, alphabet, which, um, by the way, for those who you are not uh, realizing it, all 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet can be created by the uh, manipulation of a prism, and for those who uh, wouldn't necessarily uh, know of that or believe in it, go and have a look at the work of what's called the Meru Foundation, named after Mount Meru, the, the, uh, the, the mountain um, of, um, shall we say, uh, 
historical significance for many religions. Um, so go and have a look at that work. And all I'm going to say is that there are things going on. There is an agenda. There is a time frame. And the agencies that are creating your world work and manipulate on these, these cycles. So they're not just strange cycles that are picked out when events happen. They're all for a reason. And another example of that very, very recently is, do you think it's a coincidence that Rishi Sunak, um, the newly installed illegitimate prime minister of the United Kingdom, was installed on the, the feast of Diwali, um, uh, which is an approximation um, to the um, All Saints Halloween um, uh, traditions of the, of the Spanish Catholic, Catholic traditions. So there are no coincidences. If you like the video, pass it on to someone, uh, subscribe, and please let the video run and, as I say, uh, digest it, take notes, research it for yourself. And uh, Peter of England saying thank you for watching.